Hello and good day, everybody. So this is going to be episode two, well, chapter one. And um, I went ahead and clicked on Ruth Rose. He's the one that's the uh, childhood friend that calls us kitten. And um, this is the start of it. So let's let's, let's see what this one is about. Awesome. Afakawa. Is that why Ryu was here earlier? Sir, what can you tell me about the Asakawa case? My father smiles briefly at my obvious curiosity. So, you believe the legislative bill and threats are related? Yeah, pick up the files and start reading them. Pick up the files two weeks for later. Huh. Pick up the files and read them, that's what they say. Pick up the folder and quickly go through it. But my findings caused me to frown with concern. Sir, the basic overview of the case is here. But there's not much to go on. Strange, I wonder why. I continue to browse through the documents and papers. Each turn of the page gives me a better idea of what's at stake. Sir, looking at the information available, it's very important to get this bill through. It will definitely simplify our investigation and make it more effective in rooting our corruption. Seeing as they're working on the best interests of the country, I have no issues with helping them. Will I be the only one eradicated to the case? Knock knock. I instantly frown at the door. Wary of the sudden interruption while wondering who could be at the other side. I'll be working with my brother? Seriously? My brother may be strict, but he's one of the best detectives to ever graduate from the police academy. For me to be working underneath him is extremely rare and highly beneficial opportunity. <laughs> Daddy, you didn't tell me I'll be working with Chloe. In my excitement, I didn't notice the skeptical glare of Chloe he had cast my way and his abrupt, belligerent tone instantly killed my enthusiasm. No, 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 I mean... I struggled at the flinch at a sharp, pointed stare. And he continues to bark his orders before I can clear up the misunderstanding. Yes, sir. I just noticed. I don't know if you guys can see this. 
but I have this wood icon stuck on my computer. What the fuck? I don't know how to get rid of that. So, uh, sorry guys, but you have to. <laughs> oh, it's, it's fine. It's been doing really well. Well, that's good. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I got my bottom with my brother's deep side. Feeling guilty for causing him trouble due to my blunder. glance at Clay yet, the mention of my name. Probably surprised by his comment. Wait, did he, did he compliment us? He's an asshole. Did I hear that right? He just gave me a very rare top That's what I was thinking, did he? Yeah. Somehow. I can't seem to stop by widening smiles spreading across my face as I beam up at him. <laughs> Completing our briefing, we both stay up at once. And I make sure to pick up the Oscarola case on the way out. Vroom! Mm -hmm. it's <laughs> Other than the occasional rumble of the engine, there's a deafening silence in the car as Chloe drives to her destination. The air between us is so thick you can literally cut it with a knife. <sighs> I sneak out, I sneak a look at my brother's strong profile, and in more than sigh, in word of these sigh. It's still so hard to talk to him, especially since he moved away from home. It's always been it's so cold, it makes me wonder if he resents my adoption. I've heard rumors and whispers that he hasn't always been this way. But even after living with him for so many years, I've yet to see otherwise. Mom keeps telling me to be patient and that he's been through a lot. Sometimes, though, I wonder if my being here is the only issue. Dismissing my depressing thoughts, I reach for the folder I picked up earlier, wanting to check if I've missed anything relevant to the case. I'll be fine, I'm proud of it. Plus, it depends on how good of a driver you are. I tense at his fighting tone, and even though his eyes are on the road, I see the narrow and warning, and I apprehensively try to explain myself. I meant, well, since you're the one driving, I shouldn't get sick with you being a good driver and all. <laughs> Clay, I mean it, really. You're one of those rare people I can be in the car with without getting sick. <laughs> It's the truth! I turn away from his silence and look at the road. Crushed that he still won't believe me. Fine then. Poof. If you don't want me to read in the car, at least tell me what you know about the case. Dad hasn't told me much other than the fact that we're receiving death threats. And how it might be related to what they're working on in Parliament. He didn't even tell me we would be working together. flashes me a look of annoyance, as though he just remembered something distasteful. What? No, I didn't mean it like that. I was happy knowing that I'd be able to work with you. You're one of the best officers we have. Of course I would want to work with you. There's a disappointment, disappointed twist in my heart as the silence is to leave. I try my best to brush it away and change the topic. Anyway, I'm here now. You should have told Dad earlier if you wanted me off the case. Ooh. Ooh, that stung. Burn. His offhanded matter of fact rejection instantly stabs my heart. I know, girl. Oh, jeez. 
rude. I quickly bite my lip. This is a pain that stops the steam in my ass. Something funny. I didn't think his voice would still be that. We've lived apart for so many years. I, I thought I'd become immune to it by now. Guess not. I turned away vaguely, observed the passing scene. Grateful for the continuing silence as we drive towards our destination. When we arrive at the Asatawa Mainan residence, Tanaka the butler is waiting to lead us to the living room. As soon as he spots us, Minister Asatawa greets us with a friendly smile. The way that I feel myself glow with pride as I bow deeply with gratitude. You're too kind, Mr. Asakawa. Asakawa. That's so hard to say. <laughs> His doting fatherly expression makes me smile even wider in appreciation. As you wish, Uncle. <laughs> That's cute. Minister Asakawa gestures to the lounge, encouraging us both to sit. As soon as Koyi settles himself beside me, he turns to look at Mr. Asakawa in all seriousness. Minister Asakawa responds with a troubled look on his face. Minister Asakawa glances at Tanaka. Who bows politely before leaving the room. At that moment, Naka returns with a trailer full of tea and assorted cakes. Ooh, those cakes look delicious. Girl, I love cakes. You know, a little dead sounds really good around that. That sounds amazing. knew that his son specifically ordered his cake to me. <laughs> However, knowing that you said such extremes to fill my thrills filled my heart. I pause when I catch a sight of Koi's expression. Deep grief is darkening his features. <laughs> but it doesn't take long for my intention to return to the cake that are being served. Hell yeah, girl, because those are cake. Exactly. <laughs> From the Arc and CL, a very well known famous thing. They're so very hard to get. With a, smile, with a smile, I gratefully take the plate and take them from Tanaka, who serves it. Using a fork, I carefully cut a piece and savor the fullness of the flavor and the fluffiness of the texture as the cake basically melts in my mouth. Oh, that sounds amazing. See, that's like food for right there. Mmm. So good, it's definitely from La Arc La Ciel. I'll definitely have to thank Ryu for the next time I see him. Uh-oh, here we are, guys, here we are, the sun was up. Starting with that slam the door. And Kat, Ryu's smiling suggestively as I casually, as he casually walks into the room.
None at all. Thank him. Feel flattered. Really work out. Thank you for the cake. They were very delicious. You went and bought those cakes yourself? I feel blush stayed my cheeks at the public show of endearment. And cast the shooting glare without while ignoring my somewhat fluttering heart. Mind you guys, mind you guys. You got him, you got her brother, and his dad in the room, and they're having like this cute little flirty exchange, okay? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> How dare he tease me in public, especially in front of his father. I can't believe he can speak to me so like that, so casually. I guess those rumors about him womanizing are true after all. Uh, yeah, we've got a womanizer on our hands, okay? That's shitty. You're 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 an asshole. You asshole. Asshole, dude. Koi. Koi the, the, the douchey. Nice. Koi, that's my character's nice. Koi gives Ryusi a dirty look as he re hurts sharply, saving him from scolding. Unperturbed. Raul responds with a smirk as he finds the whole thing amusing. Worried, I flick my gaze back and forth at the increased attention, sensing the invisible sparks flying in the room while they both glare at each other. It never did get along as far as I can remember. And the uncle's like, Ma, oh, you kid. Hold the class and be smiles, you know. He's either oblivious to the animosity or <laughs> it's all a part of his strategy. <laughs> the minister Asakawa manages to find a peaceful resolution as no one dares to contradict him. No wonder he's such a successful politician. <laughs> Rusi settles himself on the spare lounge next to him, before starting to speak with his serious expression. At both their nods, Rogu continues with the summary. Mm, we got some bad ASMR, guys. Yes, I thought I mentioned something along those lines. The books turned then into a wine displeasure at being cut off, but Koi keeps his semblance. Only the narrowing of his eyes reflects his growing hostility before he responds quickly. Wu casts a tantalizing smile as his gaze 
mesmerizingly flicks over to me, causing an increased squeezing feeling deep in the pit of my stomach. I have a really bad feeling about this. Oh, what is he gonna say? <laughs> What? 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 Okay, okay, okay. Alright, calm down, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So he wants us to be his girlfriend. Does he mean like girl girlfriend, girlfriend, like for real girlfriend, or like I'm gonna pretend to be your girlfriend so I can like use my super cop skills and protect your fans? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Wait, what? That's why I was free. Sounds bitches. Alright, okay. Alright, well. Getting good. I'm gonna check to see how much this route is or if they sell it like the whole game. And, uh, let me. Guys, let me know if you want more of this because I wanna play more of it. And, yeah. It'll be fun. And, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.